New tonight at 11, families asking for justice tonight as police arrest a man and his daughter in the crash that killed three teenagers. Now, this case is pretty complicated tonight, so I want to break it down for you. There were three cars involved. Okadima Link was in one of them. His daughter, Shantiana Willis, was in another. Somebody else was in a third car. Now, this crash took place over the weekend near 38th and Kessler. We read the court documents today and learned this. Data from the cars show Link and Willis were driving well over the 35-mile-per-hour speed limit when they crashed into each other and then hit a third car. Link's car hit the three teens who were walking in the gravel shoulder of the road. Link initially left the scene but came back and turned himself in. Officers reported smelling alcohol on him. Link and Willis tonight both facing charges of OWI and reckless homicide. Our Emily Longnecker spoke with the teenagers' families. These are my sisters. Yes. We we're, together. This together. we're together. We're together now. now. Before last Saturday, the women you see sitting here didn't know each other, even though their children were friends. Today, they're united in overwhelming grief. All we want is justice for our three children. We Police say 13-year-old Tajiana Velez, Kiara Brown, and 15-year-old David Evans were walking along Kessler Boulevard near 38th Street last Saturday when a white Chevy Tahoe hit and killed them and took off. Thursday, their mother spoke about their grief in the office of their attorney, Nathaniel Lee. No parents had to identify a bird, a child. Um, we're struggling real hard right now from the information we've received since we've been here. In court documents, witnesses reported seeing cars on Kessler weaving in and out of traffic and going around 100 miles per hour before the crash. Okadima Link told officers he and his daughter Shantiana Willis weren't racing at the time. He said the crash happened when a third car tried to pass between them. Both Link and Willis are charged with driving under the influence. Uh, there's no excuse for him driving that fast. I don't know what him and a young lady were doing, but the truth, the fact is, three young people are gone right now. They should still be here. You can see here the candles and mementos left here at the scene where these three young people lost their lives. And after Saturday's crash, a lot of people talked about how dangerous this stretch of road is because it doesn't have any sidewalks. But in this case, Attorney Lee says that wouldn't have made a difference. But the fact remains, though, you can't create a safety barrier if somebody's doing 100 miles an hour. According to Lee, this isn't the first time Link has been involved with the law. Two weeks ago, Lee filed a civil case against Link connected to a 2018 shooting. Sometimes justice delayed is tragic. These mothers pray justice will not be denied for their children. We are looking forward to justice. Right now, all we're going to do is worry about grieving.